Good morning guys. So we're actually up really really early. It's only 6 30 in the morning and we have to go to the doctor right now. A couple months back I scheduled this appointment to get a physical and <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't thinking about the time or anything like that but basically my <coughs> Apple watch is telling me it's time to go but yeah so the kids are in their pajamas. It's really really early. I have a bag of strawberries and muffins for them to eat while we're in the office and I'm also going to bring Logan's iPad. I just don't want him to you know be like bored or anything because usually when I'm trying to like talk to the doctor he'll just go crazy with whatever he has to say and just keep talking and talking so I gotta distract him. Here they are. Hey. Say hi. Say good morning. Good morning. What's up? Are you bringing my tablet? Yeah, I'm bringing your tablet. Here, hold it for mommy. And then Briella, she's just gonna chill in mommy's arms, right? I just, I just, <laughs> sounded like she said right. Just, but we need to head out, so let's go, guys. Okay, you guys, so we just got here, and everybody's waiting outside, so I don't think they're open quite yet. Do you guys keep up with your physicals and like every six months <laughs> going to the dentist and everything? Because I do, and I don't know, I don't know if it's weird, but. That's why I'm here because I'm getting my yearly physical. But anyways, we have a problem. When I was leaving the house, I locked the door and then I realized I forgot my burrito in the microwave so I was going to go get it and then the dang door wouldn't open. So look what it was doing. It just kept turning and turning and turning like I could not open the door and then look. I tried to open the door and no, I'm locked out. So now I need to wait until like the office opens and I don't even know what time it opens. Let me check. It says, let's see, my apartment complex. It says that they open at, they open at 8 a.m. Hopefully this appointment takes about an hour. I cannot function if I don't eat. So I just killed two of Briella's muffins because I know she doesn't eat all of them. She'll only eat one at a time. So I'm like, okay, I ate two of those. I'm feeling fine right now, but I don't know how long these two little baby muffins are gonna last me before I feel hungry and we actually keep a case of water back here so that'll work out you know if I get thirsty or whatever but we're here we're here on time and that's really good Sam is texting me a lot now it says I'm looking it up open the door hold it so there's no tension I don't know blow it in I would put tension on the key at maybe an angle uh yeah I already bent the key trying to get it open so I don't want to continue to do that because it definitely will break okay so I'm gonna go over there with the kids they need to open the door because these kids are gonna be cold it is only it is only 42 degrees outside, so I'm just gonna wait till they open the door. But yeah, I've never been here this early, and it's weird, but I feel weird being locked out of the house. Like, what am I supposed to do? The Target's closed. Everything's closed this early in the morning. Okay, all right, they opened it, so I gotta go. Okay, you guys so we're in the car ready to go that appointment was so fast next time I schedule a physical I'm going to schedule it later in the day because this is way too early but it was nice that nobody was really in there and that I was the first patient it was nice everything looks good in my physical so now I have to deal with the aftermath of being locked out of the house so it's not even 8 o'clock yet it's 7 40 I'm gonna go get a coffee and then we will go home and go to the front office and basically just tell them like I'm locked out of my house and see what they do I've never been locked out of the house before and typically Sam is working really close to home but since he's in school he's two hours away so I I can't just have him come home real quick and help me. He said that if he was home, he would just drill out the door and then, not the door, but the lock, and then we would be able to get in. But he's not here, and I don't have tools, and I don't know how to work tools. So it's a whole mess. So we're gonna go to get some coffee so I can wake up even more. And then, yeah, so let's go. Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning. I'll have that drink right out for you. Okay, thank you. 
Oh my, oh my god. Ran over the curb. Okay, you guys, so we just made it home, and I'm going to show you guys what happens whenever I try to unlock the door. So you put it in, and then it just turns and turns and turns, whatever way you're doing it, and then you can't open the door. So yeah, I went to the front office. They're going to have one of the guys come over here and get the door open, but the lock just won't open, so we are currently locked out of the house, and yeah, but it's kind of cold, so we might get back in the car because they're taking a little bit longer than I thought they would. This is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> All of them were in there already, and it was nice that I could just, you know, be like, okay, I'm locked out of the house. He was like, I'm gonna get your keys out of your house then. I was like, no, it's not that. <laughs> it's the deadbolt. So we're just waiting on them to come over here and unlock the door for us. Okay. Okay, you guys so we're back home the lock is fixed and I actually had some other things that they needed to do like change our air filter and then our kitchen light was going out so they replaced that and now there's people with ladders outside of our front window like fixing the gutters that are above so there's just a lot of things that needed to be fixed in our little apartment so now Briella's down for a nap Logan's playing with toys and I am going to begin with my editing and you know doing all the things that I need to do throughout the day Hey guys, right now we are getting Logan's haircut at Sports Clips because Logan's birthday is around the corner and I always do his birthday photo shoot so that is also coming up in the next, I'd say, like, week or so. His haircut always looks best after about five days, so that's why we have to get it now, so it lands at a perfect timing to do the photo shoot. Brielle is still in the car with me, but Sam had to run in because we were running late. We have to get on a wait list, and we, you know, we're always late everywhere we go because we have two kids, and we don't pay attention to the time. So... There's that, and then after this, I have no idea what we're doing, so let's see where the day takes us. So we just finished with Logan's haircut and it's looking so cute. We are growing out the top of his hair, so that's why we're not cutting it. We want to see how it's going to look as it grows out, but he's looking super handsome. And I don't know if I told you guys yet, but we are going to the zoo tomorrow. I think I talked about this in yesterday's vlog, but we are going to the zoo tomorrow and now we are going to go to Carter's because I want to try to see if I can find like animal shirts for them to wear to the zoo. Probably won't find any, but it's worth looking for, right? Yeah, I mean, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, you guys, so we just got home from Old Navy. So Carter's ended up being closed. It closed at 7, and we got there at 7.01. That sucks so much. I hate how they just won't let you in real quick, you know, even though it's 7.01. Like, there were still people in there shopping. It was just that the doors were locked. So we went to Old Navy. I grabbed a couple more things and just an outfit for the kids for tomorrow, but I really am in love with everything that I got besides for one thing and I'll show you guys. Okay, so we'll start off with Logan stuff. I got him a shirt that says brother, a dinosaur shirt, and this Sunrays and Rad Days shirt. And then he was going to wear this with that tomorrow, but I'm not in love with the shorts, so I'm going to return those. And then for Riella, I got her a shirt that says sister. And then this cute sunflower shirt, it's adorable. And then another shirt with flowers on it. And then this is what she's going to wear tomorrow. They're both going to have like something to do with the sun. And then she's going to wear these cute sandals. They're adorable. The ones that I got her for Easter got ruined the first day. I'll show you guys those too. So these are the shoes she got for Easter and they're already wrecked. And then they fall off of her feet every five seconds. So 
They're just not a good buy. So now we're just at home hanging out. There's not really a plan for the rest of the day. We ran out of time to go outside. It's already getting dark. It's 7.45, so Sam's giving Briella a bath. Logan's getting some screen time, and I need to edit a video and post it for you guys tonight. I actually did a Q&A with Sam earlier, so that's what we're going to do. And then we'll see where the night takes us, but we still haven't had dinner, and I ordered pizza for lunch, so we've all kind of been snacking on that, but I don't know if we'll end up making something for dinner or not. I don't know. I still have to prepare everything. We were supposed to go grocery shopping. I totally forgot, but I wanted to take sandwiches to the zoo tomorrow, and we okay. forgot to go to the store, so that's going to suck.